What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, something for the people, where the evolved hustlers come to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. So, I do want to say, before we get started, how grateful I am to all the new subscribers. I see you guys coming in. I appreciate y'all, and thank you again to the OGs if you've been tapping in for a minute Thank you, thank you, thank you, because, you know, without you guys to kind of share, engage, this would all be, like, so boring. So, I'm happy you're here. Yes, y'all. Now, if you need a private appointment today, click the link in my bio. Um, It should be from wherever you're listening. I do got the website back up, y'all, so it looks a little different on there today. The, any, like, promotion links, any, like, reads of the day that will appear there but i would encourage you guys to explore the website because it is amazing um a couple of things i still want to do to it but for the most part i love my website i put it together myself and i love it so check it out y'all all of the areas are now open for you to shop book Get the story about the concierge membership and learn a little bit more about the company. Explore some packages that we have available. Yes, so it's it's a team. I might do a little tour so y'all can see what, what is happening, what's going on with it. Tell me what you think. But yes, um, other than that, You can also um, tap into the different social networks that we have. You can tap into our Patreon. All of that stuff is generally going to be up under our link tree. So if anything particular is there, I'll make sure it's highlighted so y'all will know what's going on. But yes, let's see what is going on here in terms of today astrology wise now y'all know with the thursday energy we are more in it to be focused on confidence big success um anything that has to do with confirmation anything that has to do with justice authority anything that has to do with power because you know jupiter is like big daddy big daddy jupiter big mama father ladies Big Mama Jupiter, right? And today, Jupiter is in Gemini. So, everything bigger. Everything bigger. Everything big. Yeah, today is a good day to do money workings. Today is a good day to bless your things. Bless your spiritual items that you utilize. Also, today is a great day to bless family, friends, business, home, life. And today you might want to focus on creating some sort of protective charm to carry with you throughout this particular journey. You might want to do that. Today is a great day for any of all those. So to, if you lucky on Thursdays, then you good, period. Okay. You lucky on Thursdays. That means you got a good relationship with Big Jew. So let it happen. <laughs> now, right now we have Venus in Cancer trining Neptune in Pisces, and Venus has also entered Leo. So we have a very like smoldery, like lover type of vibe, like. It's giving TLC digging on you vibes. That's what it's giving. And spirit is saying just let it in, let it happen. You know, just be with the flow. Don't try to control too much of what's going on around you. You might miss some things if you do. And definitely watch any type of temper. Temper, temper. Temper, temper, ladies. Temper, temper, fire signs. Fire signs. Y'all been wilding in my readings lately. I wonder what spirit team's going to come out with for today. Let me see. I want to see. 
July. So from the transits, I always remember also y'all to put this towards your specific chart. So tie this in with what you already know. Otherwise, this is a general read and it is a general read off of the chart, um, the astro sleep chart right now. So always pay attention to like numbers, signs, elements of the story and try to break it down. So whoever is supposed to catch, catches it. But you know how that goes. Now, we got about four, five planets and, in, well, including the nodes, which are in Aries that are going retrograde right now. So there's a lot of reflection. There's a lot of do-overs. There's a lot of changing how something may have ended or the end of something, transformation. Lots of rebirth energy, too. Looking back, assessing how you want to start off, how you want to move to action for your highest. What actions did you pursue in previous timelines that may not be working right now? Like, it's big pay attention energy today. You know, Gemini is all about focus and alertness. So, big pay attention. Big pay attention energy. Now, um, let's see. We are good for Thursday. Who do Thursday tasks for the collective? So now as we look into these planetary hours, well, days rather, we can kind of see what's broken up. Like I said, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. So we have a crescent moon right now. That is what Virgo is in. And Virgo is very much about organizing what you are doing, committing to what you are doing, and really just grounding. Like, I, when I see that Dr. Grant card come out of my hoodoo tarot deck, I always think, like, get in the field. Like, get it. It's time for you to get your hands dirty. It's time for you to do the work. Now, with the waxing crescent moon, we are focusing in on calling what we want in going within and pulling out this is a highly magnetic moon so be mindful because you want to make sure what you're bringing or calling into you and your situation is productive it's grounded it's organized like getting all the things that you need in order you know bringing some sense of sturdiness stability to your day-to-day but clearly we're still operating off of making our dreams come true because we do have the Mercury in Leo right now and Venus is in Cancer. So these are two very highly like emotional signs that person even in Cancer pretends like they're not. This is the lovey-dovey. This is the nurturer. This is the stable. This is the mother, you know, of the Zodiac family. And while definitely keeping a lot of that intact they are mush on the inside so mm -hmm. very passionate about home family stability very passionate about creativity leo's energy you know so creating a safe space healing your inner child type energy right now so you could feel safe oh i like that that sounds good so the sun in Cancer is sextile the moon in Virgo. Then you got the sun sextile Mars at three degrees. And you got the sun trining Saturn at zero degrees. Now Saturn is in Pisces and it is retrograding. So think of this as a moment um, wherever these placements fall for you, of course. With this sun in Cancer, you're being given some time to reflect on how you want to design your home life, what feels stable to you, what feels safe for you, you know, tilling to your, tending to your own mother wounds type energy, subconsciously fixing things and moving things around. And, you know, maybe you're doing the last little bit of deciding what stays and what goes. Now, the sun is sextile and Mars in, what is this, Taurus? 
So your get up and go, your natural um, push to move things is going to be very much based on what's comfortable for you. Tapping into what you're worth going after, what you're worthy of, you know, because that Mars energy is new beginnings. But these new beginnings with this Taurus energy is in, in saying it's a new beginning for the long haul, you know. This isn't a quick thing with the sun and cancer sextiling that energy. This isn't about a quick move. It's about movement, but it's not about a quick move. Okay. Now, the sun in cancer is trining. Did I do Saturn? Okay, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Saturn and Pisces. Retrograde, zero degrees. Did I say that, y'all? Well, if I didn't, it's trining Saturn and Pisces retrograde. And passionate think pieces. Getting in touch with yourself spiritually. Like I say, who you are when no one's watching. Then you got that sun in cancer. Like I say, it's trining that. So learning lessons surrounding what it means to feel safe. What it means to feel at home. What it means to feel nurtured. All parts of you. I feel like that's what that's hitting on. The sun is sextile Uranus. Now y'all know that Saturn energy is potent today though. So be mindful and be patient with yourself and others as they heal their mother wounds. You know. Now, the moon is quite busy today being in Virgo. I guess they said, let me get down to it. Do you know the muffin man, they said. So the moon in Leo. Wait, no, no, no. Virgo is trying. It was sextile first. Sextile Venus in Cancer. It is trining now Mars and Taurus at zero degrees. So giving you the passion, giving you the, the creativity to create something childlike that appeal to you or heal some sort of inner wound that maybe you pulled from childhood. But again, with the long term energy, again, with the commitment energy. Then the moon is opposing Saturn and Pisces retrograde. Maybe not quite wanting to be as reserved or deal with the logistics of the situation today. So there's a little bit of hostility today. People, you know, they just want to play. They just want to enjoy. And Saturn's coming in like, hey, but remember this or let's deal with that. You know, that's where that energy is coming from. If you feel it, honey. Now, hold up. Oh, here we are. So, yeah, the now what? The moon is trining Uranus, so creativity, individuality, lots of things that you enjoy wholeheartedly. This is the 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 map of or rather the foundation of what's going to be in terms of like culture and generation, like a lot of things are shifting. And it is going to be more focused around, like, today. Well, it's focused around this feminine energy. As we ebb and flow. As we ebb and flow, you know, we're tapping into the idea that something new can be committed to right now when i see moon and virgo i think like commitment like you're you're silently committing to something you're you're deciding on something lots of decisions being made today the moon is oh it's a bit more opposition than i like to see as i go down this list though the moon is trining Uranus, then the moon is opposing Neptune and Pisces. So Virgo's coming to break up all that, you know, not following your intuition and going too deep. Virgo coming to snatch that shit up. As soon as you get out there, you be not thinking. Your know, that that moon in Virgo is coming through to get your ass right back on track. Be mindful of what you're attracting and pulling in today. It's gonna be a big one. So train your mind. Moon in Virgo is trining Pluto. Mm. Pluto in Aquarius, Pluto in Pisces. 
Which one is it? Pluto and Aquarius. Mercury is sextile Jupiter and Gemini. Venus is sextile Uranus and Taurus. We got Venus trining Neptune and Pisces at zero, zero degrees. Ooh, woo. Baby, this is the love of all lovers. Okay? Dreamy. Like, yes. Lover of lovers. Someone is very concerned with family, very concerned with the mother, very concerned with healing. I like that. Partnering. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, zero degrees, y'all. Venus is in opposition to Pluto and Aquarius, though. Not really wanting to deal with, again, the death of something. So there is going to be a little bit of a fight there. Mm -hmm. There's going to be somebody on the end, maybe someone uh, from the past, past, like, long way. Because Pluto is, like, the furthest from the sun. So, whoever these, these, there's a lot of resistance reviewing from shit from the past. And the movement today is going to be... In conjunction with the energy of Uranus and Taurus. So people again are playful. They're creative. They're looking to start new things. Then you got the nodes. North and south squaring the sun. So still some things from the past. Are kind of plaguing where you'll go and win. And then you have the node trining Mercury. Leo. Mercury and Leo. So favoring a move that is going to be long long creative happy cheerful you know what i'm saying you might be looking into some happy memories from your childhood from your past life or realizing that maybe you need to create that space for yourself now the node is sextile Jupiter in Gemini at zero degrees. And then that is continuing the idea that that big Gemini energy is shining a light, exposing some things that bring need to have justice and authority. They need to have. So there are a lot of things coming out. Rights being wrong, you know, uh, wrongs being righted. I said that backwards. Yeah. A lot of shit going to be made right just because of it. Maybe from the past. Like I said, childhood trauma, childhood wounds. Lilith in Libra, the lover, the partner, the money, the good life. Beautiful. Ruled by Venus. Conjuncting the moon in Virgo at seven degrees for completion. Lilith in Libra is sextile Venus. In Cancer, of course, at one degree. Lilith in Libra is trining Uranus and Pisces. Lilith is opposing Neptune still, but at one degree, 26 little dot thingy. <laughs> Lilith in Libra is trining Pluto and Aquarius at zero degrees. So, yeah. Big feels. Justice for old things that people thought they'd hidden, but they're not. Chiron in Aries is saying... A lot of things healing deeply will be your image of what one may think a woman or a mother is supposed to look like. And that is a square, so that's letting me know there's a little bit of hostility with that as well. Maybe not much as an opposition, but still there. And then they're gonna, there's going to be a big um, push with the Canutes. Chiron, Canoose, and the moon, zero degrees. A big push to deal with things that you maybe didn't deal with before. A big deal to push um, and try to commit or get organized. It's something that you're sorting out in regards to some sort of past life struggle today. And you're being given the will to do that and move through that. Mm -hmm. Definitely something that's hidden, something maybe you didn't want people to know. You're being given the will to push past that today. And then the Chiron Aries is squaring Venus and Cancer. So a lot of home issues, mom, home, 
Venus, Cancer, that's what I think of. Private, the stuff that you didn't might didn't quite want to deal with, but it's coming through. These can be your own triggers too, y'all, so be mindful of that. I enjoy reading that chart that way. It kind of just gives some personality to it, you know. Let's get into this um, collective read. And while I do that, y'all know I'm going to talk a little shit. So let me let y'all know. I tried to read the book. And I was going to record it for y'all too. But I was going to read the whole book, Women Who Are With Wolves. Baby, that is not a book that you just read all the way through. Because that's a, that's a thinker. <laughs> so anyway, like I was trying to think while being on live, while also trying to record for the podcast. I'm like, oh no, this not going to work. So I'm going to go back to what I was doing because I didn't like that as much as I thought I would. And we'll kind of restructure it like the I got to figure out because it like certain areas just call for certain things. And I think that that's more of a podcast thing, you know. Now, people do film their podcast, but I like the idea of just talking into a mic, dear diary, you know. And then you know you gotta really love on your cards, you gotta finesse the cards. I was talking about that in the live the other day. <laughs> you gotta love on your cards, but they just stoop on you. Cause you ain't coming to talk to them. You ain't coming to get a little tea from them. Yeah. And then another reason why I stopped um, recording too, because I was reading this story and it was like, as I was reading it, like certain energy was creeping into my vicinity. Like, because certain proclamations were being made during the story. And it was weird. So, if you were listening to my live, you was on TikTok, you seen how I was reading it. I, like, didn't really resonate. I didn't want to read certain things out. But it was, like, the more I did, the energy started building. So, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. Like, certain parts of that story were about the sea. And the sea was in, like, water started dripping in my bathroom and shit. I was like, oh, no, baby. <laughs> I ain't calling you, sis. I ain't bit more calling you than a man on the moon, my good sis. So let me read this in the quiet and pick out what I want. Because, you know, it felt like I was, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it other than to sound very, like, woo-woo. But it was like I was calling something in and I didn't like what I was calling in. And the story just kept going and going. And I was like, oh, my God, when is this supposed to be a short story or wait? So I eventually, you know, I got down to about one viewer. And I was like, I'm straight on this. So what I'm going to do is what I've been doing. So forgive me, y'all, for the slight delay. I've been catching back up on putting stuff in. Y'all you know, you know I be, when I get a good instinct or something. It just got weird. Like, I don't know. I was like, mm, nah, you ain't gonna get me. <laughs> Period. Yes. I have no idea what's going on in the news right, right, right now. Um, That's new. So. That. Is. To me, what's going on that's been going on? I don't think I mentioned to y'all before. I have relatives that watch the news like all the time, like daily. And it's got me to one of these points where it's like I only watch it when I'm called to watch it. So if it comes across or I see something significant, I'll be like, mm. But I find that checking it every single day will kind of like drive you insane after a while. But there's lots going on with the weather and stuff. It's a lot going on with the weather. Mm -mm -mm. Like, seriously. So, 
No news is good news in this retrospect. We'll see what they tell me on the spirit side of things, though. <laughs> we'll see what news, what culture they got over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Papa, for opening the roads and allowing me to get guidance and clarity from the elevated ancestors, the spirit guides, and the oracles. Thank you so very much. Thank you for covering and protecting me as I get this, this tea for personal development. You know, sometimes we can use a little bit of both. Yes, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the gift. I love the gift. Mm -hmm. I do not disrespect it. I honor it. And I love it. So let's see what you got for me, Papa. What's good? What's good, baby? So we got a Leo, but she's in reverse from the past. Strength in reverse. Tell me about what's going on presently. And we've got a Taurus here. Hierophant standing in the upright, though. Tell me about the collective energy, please. We've got Dr. Grant, Hermit, Virgo energy here. Tell me about the near future, please. We've got a father of coins in the reverse. We need to find out why. Tell me about the near future, please. And well, overall, there's a daughter of baskets in the up right here. I'm talking about near future. Okay, so off top, I'm seeing a Leo, a Taurus, and a Virgo. And it looks like someone may have lost something through lack of discipline. But then there's a commitment here with the daughter of basket. Somebody is loyal. Somebody's committing to something. So let's find out a little more. Tell me what's going on with this strength in reverse, this Leo energy spirit. There is a mother of baskets in reverse here. This person is very emotional. They need to do some, some form of healing. Let me get some clarification. It is someone that is feeling emotional about a relationship, but the relationship is in the upright. So I could say about a relationship coming together, some sort of new partnership or relationship. Gemini could be significant. So this person is in their feelings about that. Tell me about this um, father of, of coins in reverse, please. What is this energy? So this energy has um, Miss Ida in the upright high priestess. There is a father of coins and a high priestess. The, the father of coins is in reverse more. And someone is looking for some sort of assistance or guidance or there's some sort of help here. That's coming because we got the ten of sticks. Some sort of burden is being lifted. And yeah, this person, this father of coins in the reverse, it could be a feminine, heavily in her masculine. Somebody is tapped in. Somebody's helping this person. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I want to know more about this story, please. So there was a enemy or a lack of boundaries nine of sticks in reverse clarity and with the four of knives in reverse there was a lack of boundaries and someone didn't know or wasn't quite thinking able to think something through somebody couldn't they couldn't think there was something that was hidden in regards possibly to a leo with the sun card in reverse there was something hidden Somebody was going to take some sort of offer to someone, daughter of coins in the upright. And they are seven of coins upright. They are very much considering somebody seeing something. They seeing that somebody's going to take some sort of offer somewhere. Tell me more. Yeah, a cycle isn't over. A cycle hasn't ended. Yeah, someone um, moved on or coming towards someone. But it looks like with the four baskets in the reverse, this person was is feeling apprehensive about giving this offer or taking it. So they have some sort of goal, some sort of plan. Maybe they don't know if you're going to take their offer. They, they have some sort of goal and plan, though. And with that... They don't want somebody to take a leap of faith. Because 
they might notice something. They might become the star. This could be an Aquarius. Somebody didn't want to let go of their star. And someone was being very ruthless, very possessive, very controlling. They were doing these things. Son of Dives in reverse. Way too much. So now there is some balance here or there's balance to be needed. Somebody's feeling patient. It could be a Sagittarius. So you got an Aquarius energy that someone does not want to see be free. And you've got a masculine air sign energy here that is looking for some sense of balance, some sense of restoral, some sense of... Yeah, alignment. This person's looking for some sort of alignment or they need to be. Mm. I'm going to come back to the because there's kind of like, okay. So, yeah. Somebody's being very patient, very patient about some sort of loss. They're waiting for some sort of help, but it's coming like they know they're going to get it. But there's a lack of boundaries here. There's some sort of hidden enemy that is definitely trying to make someone stop thinking about something. And they're doing this in the shadows. They're doing this in secret because someone wants something to They want to keep getting something that they've always gotten. They don't want some cycle to end. They want someone to move on or some. They realize that. They're watching someone go back to a cycle, go back to something. And they feeling some type of way about it. Mm -hmm. They cannot, they don't want somebody to see it. Ooh, because when they see it, baby, they see it. Once you see, you can't unsee. So then you got these other energies on the board. You got this Taurus, you got this Virgo, somebody moving in the shadows. You've got this door to a basket, someone who's committed, someone who's loyal. Maybe a younger energy. Somebody's loyal. Let me tell me more about this hierophant. Somebody is definitely ace of knives. Somebody is seeing something for shit show. Somebody realized something. They realized that they, they, this thought may have not even been on them at first. They, they're they just now realizing something, getting some clarity about a situation. And it could have to do uh, Black Herman in the upright Gemini. It could have to do with the fact that there's some sort of power being restored or they seeing something about themselves that they're wishing to create. something new yeah somebody wants to have a six of baskets in the upright moment this person is looking to work and put all their power put all their you know good ashe to rekindling some sort of flame offering some sort of peace offering it looks to be like a partnership or relationship you're very close because there are feelings there a good bit. Six of baskets is a lot. It's almost 10. Yeah. But somebody did, or they might not be making some sort of move forward here. We got the six of sticks in the reverse. Who is this spirit? Um, seven of sticks in reverse. Yeah. Five of knives in the upright, though. So that tells me that you have a fire sign, masculine energy, some very like immature, like move off of emotions without thinking type of energy. This person may be afraid that they are going to possibly waste some sort of energy or have to deal with some sort of problems or issues. So this is this person really looking to resolve the conflict. They want to resolve it. This person is looking to make some sort of amends after 
Maybe they didn't move forward. Mm -hmm. They didn't fight for it. So they want to fix that. We got the paw card. This could definitely be a father figure. Cancer could be significant or something occurring during cancer season. Today, the moon. Mm. This father has a secret. Yeah, this person wants to have some sort of victory, some sort of success. They or they know what they want. This person, this six of sticks energy just lets me know this person is doing things in the name of success. They want to be prosperous. They want something. They're looking. They're, they know they're going to win. Yeah. So this person is going to go towards, so they see success with this mother of knives and the upright energy. They see success with someone who is smart. They see success in someone who is patient, who makes like good from the good decisions. This mother of knives is very, they're righteous, they're fair. Yeah. So that way this person knows like how they should gamble, what they should invest in. Six of coins in the upright. This person is, yeah, they're moving towards victory. They want to take a gamble. They want to take a chance with this mother of knives because of that. You know what I'm saying? Knowing, the knowing of it all, right? Yeah, but there is something that someone is not, they're failing to see, they're failing to assess with this dim ball of judgment in reverse. Yeah, maybe they made a bad judgment in regards to this partnership and they want to revive it with the dim bones and the two of baskets. Somebody released something. Four of coins in the reverse. And they see that there's a realization, an emotional realization. We built up from the six of baskets all the way to the seven. Somebody's very emotional about the fact that they they invested in something that just wasn't even worth it. They know they made a bad judgment call. Mm -hmm. They know for sure. Like, regardless. They've gotten some, some insight, some emotional feelings. Yeah. And now they're realizing eight of knives in the upright. This person is they had to realize they had to move on from something. They had to find their way out of something. Yeah, they had to move on from one of these partnerships. They realize they have to choose three of coins in the upright. And they got to choose right, baby. Yeah, because they want a new start. This ace of baskets in the upright. This person is looking for something new, something fresh. They want to heal it. Yeah, this is good luck. I mean, it's all good energy. This person is definitely making some sort of decision, though. Tell me about the Dr. Grant card. Now, this Dr. Grant energy is not sure about some sort of decision. Three of baths, um, sticks in reverse. Somebody's still analyzing. Somebody's still putting together, seeing if it's what's what, right? Yeah, two of coins in the reverse because... They are not seeing the balance in it all. They're not seeing where the reciprocity would come from. Tell me more. Yeah, and this person is focused on building something long. Um, this this energy it wants a commitment that is going to be long standing and beneficial for both parties. Mm. So there's someone that's not sure they should take some sort of action here. Ace of Sticks in reverse. Um, because of a tower that happened, they're not sure. They're afraid to make a move because of a tower. But the tower is in the upright. Yeah, because maybe something, something's not over. The empress, the high, the big queen. So somebody didn't move. They're stuck. Somebody stuck in a tower mm, because something isn't over with a empress. There's a mother of coins in reverse here that is very selfish, greedy. Keep up with the Joneses. You may have been released from this person. Gullah Jack in reverse, Pisces energy. 
so that you can have some sort of stability, some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of happiness. You had to sacrifice your relationship with this person in order for you to tap in. Yeah, you, the big queen is alive. That's what I get from that. Like, there was a tower, but the queen is still alive. Yeah. The queen is still alive even after the tower. Wow. Possibly. Just to themselves. Mm hmm. Wishmen being fulfilled. Things are coming together. After some sort of sacrifice. Tell me about the daughter of baskets in the upright. Somebody's feeling very passionate about moving towards some sort of commitment or loyalty, daughter of sticks, and moving towards things that make them happy and things that are healthy, eight of baskets. And they're coming in very quickly with the railroad bill card. Yeah, this person's coming in real quick. Mother of sticks in the upright. Stay focused, stay courageous, keep the faith, you know. You, you're you being granted some blessings. I can see them on the board, obviously. Courting, ace of baskets, ten of baskets. Balancing things out to be able to move forward. There's something on the, on the... It's good to see we're not on the opposing side. There is a little opposition here. I see it, but... Nothing is not being handled. Nothing is not being moved through, even if slowly. Yeah. Let's see what the guides have to say. Tell me about any past energy that I need to know about, guides. Yeah, something, some judgment was called here. Yeah. Judgment on who? Because of some truth that has come out. Some type of realization. Judgment is being called. Ooh. Okay, let me see. And it's we got to do with some sort of third party situation mm, that was hidden. Ooh, hermit could be a Virgo, and somebody was fighting to keep it hidden, but they were not there. This option is no longer available to them. Something they're not getting something done. Yeah, they can't, they was trying to fight. It's like, they wanted to keep their their options. They wanted to be able to, like, utilize all parties. You know what I'm saying? This person that's being called to judgment, this Leo, or this Libra, is having to accept some type of truth about a collaboration um yeah somebody's committing to something and they're fighting for it because they they don't want the other options something's not over the world in reverse they don't want the other options yeah somebody doesn't want to struggle or hold some sort of burden anymore ten of wands yeah because their wishes weren't getting fulfilled while they were doing that 11 11 as i say to y'all period ashe yeah they weren't getting their wishes fulfilled they didn't want to be burdened with a the idea of this person they ain't trying to handle it that's why this tower had to happen they had to have this tower so they could see who and what they was dealing with that's what i gotta say because whoever this Queen of Wands is. So it's definitely heavy fireside energy from the past. Yeah, somebody just didn't want this person to have their wishes fulfilled. Yep. That's sad. Tell me about the present energy. So there's now someone. There is prosperity afoot. Okay. The five little coins is in the reverse. So prosperity. Somebody trying to come in. Yeah, they making their way. The chariot. The chariot came out twice. Full of love. The stability. Full of everything. Tell me about the energy surrounding the tribe. Yeah, somebody, you don't see something. You don't see something coming. But there is going to be healing. 
there is going to be some sort of restoration. Yeah, you won't see it though. <laughs> and it's going to be a nine of pentacles type of energy. It's going to be a come up. Yo, yep, it's going to be a come up. Tell me about the near future energy, please. There's a queen of swords in the reverse who is losing something. And she's going to be losing her foundation. She's going to be losing her legacy, her end all be all. She's, she's going to be losing some things. And she's not going to like them. Why? Tell me about the person. Uh, Spirit says don't worry about it. Though, this person can no longer betray you. Mm -mm. Yeah, they can't fight you. They can't battle you. They can't talk about you because a king of swords has stepped in here. Yeah, they're no longer going to be able to battle you about this person. Because some sort of injustice happened. And now this person has stepped in from the king of swords to being the emperor. Yeah. Something happened. Some sort of justice was set right or that happened to this person. Yeah, they they stepping on up. They moving on up like George Weasley because you got the King of Swords. This injustice uh, for this emperor, this King of Pentacles in the upright. Mm -hmm. Somebody can't do nothing with that energy. Somebody has decided without a shadow of a doubt like what route they're going to be taking. Tell me about the overall energy. Now, somebody is moving forward. There's an empress in reverse. And she is in the shadows, though. This could be a Leo. This person wants to come in. They're, they're thinking about rushing in. They're thinking about doing something quickly. Yeah, they want to take some sort of leap of faith. So watch out for that energy. This particular person... Yeah, she wants to take a leap of faith to kind of stop this union from happening. Yeah, and keep the will of fortune in reverse. Ooh, she too much, ain't she? Yeah, she don't want nobody to, to show no love. She don't want nobody to do nothing. She, this emperor in reverse is, she, she's a mad ass. Yeah, this person is going to try to come in, though. Um, somebody's moving to action. Somebody's going to try to tap in. Knight of Cups, who is this? Yeah, somebody's going to come in, steal. Like, this person doesn't care what they say. This person's not listening. This person's going to keep on going towards their happiness. So whatever this person say, they can't stop it. Yeah, this is, they can't stop it. This shit is over. Somebody's changed. There's some type of transformation. Yeah, they changed. And they ready. That's so crazy. Y'all see how these cards just talked? Oh, my God. So, the Knight of Cups jumped in. Like, somebody's coming forth with the Knight of Cups. Jumped into the Four of Wands. And then there was an ending. And then, boom. Bam. Knight of Pentacles. Moving on, baby. But this is happening in secret. Whatever this person's got planned. Whatever their next movie. They're not telling a whole bunch of people. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're not telling a lot of people that they're returning to something. They not, uh huh. They not telling them. They're not telling them because they don't. Either they don't care about their advice. In returning, they don't care about whoever advice this is. They don't care. Page of Pentacles. Mm -mm. They not looking into that. Mm hmm. Yeah, they want to come give a reciprocal offer. The person wants a partnership after a breakup. Maybe they didn't give an offer at first, but now their feelings are different. They want to work at something. They want to work hard. They want to work towards something with the high priestess here. Mm hmm Okay, then. Well, let's see what's going on with the... Oracle, bottom of the deck, create. Whatever you're creating, do not tell people. Like, look at where your, you know, if it'll make you feel better. Look at where Pluto is. 
I like to think of like where all my secret planets are, where 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 Scorpio is, wherever Pluto is, eighth house situations, eighth house situations, all that. Go check that out and see what you shouldn't be telling people all of your business about. Okay. Now. Yeah, someone is, whatever you're creating, you got to do that shit in secret. Then defend was on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, because these people, they just want to trap your energy. So, be mindful. Yeah, don't forget. People are going to try to be cunning. Mm-hmm. And they're going to change. Yeah, but don't be unwise. You know what I'm saying? Continue to have patience. There's nothing that you have to fear right now in your immediate energy. You don't have to fear getting a bad deal right now. That's not a mystery, you know. Somebody um, finds joy here. It's not a mystery that you, you're where a person finds joy. Mm -mm. This person is determined. They're not, they're not listening to this family member anymore. They're inspired. Yeah, they see something that hasn't shifted. So they're looking for peace now. Mm hmm And they can't protect you if they don't find balance. Somebody's gotta be strong and they not they haven't been following their instincts. So trust that something isn't all the way something isn't sacred. Somebody's not going after something. It's gonna be gay. Ooh, that's miss. <laughs> That's mess, baby. The deeper you go in the back of the deck, the messier it gets. I don't know if y'all ever seen that before. But let me see what the oracle talking about from the front, though. Somebody's trying to heal something. They're lacking a little courage, though, because they feel tricked. And now they don't. They can't wear their mask. So they have to... Their mask maybe gave them power. They have to step into their own power. They have to be consumed with it. They, ooh, they in love, baby. They are consumed with love, okay? I'm going to leave that right there. We're going to leave a good thing, a good thing. Tell me about the collective. Yeah, somebody isn't um, showing some sort of kindness uh, because something it hasn't been revealed. Yeah. It's pure wants you to stay confident. So you might not feel like you. this person is showing you any type of kindness. But Spirit wants you to stay confident. Yes, they're busy. Stillness in reverse. They're busy. So continue to enjoy yourself and get some rest for sure. Because, baby, they've got good intentions. Somebody's intentions are cool. Believe. Yeah, you can believe what they say. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yes, there's a victory here. Ooh. Tell me overall, rebirth. Yes. I'm going to leave it where it's at because why not? And I'm really not concerned with the back door. I'm not concerned with seeing what was behind the collective because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now, I am going to post the visuals for y'all so you can see this. And I appreciate y'all patience, y'all support, and y'all love while I go on this journey to get everything set up. For us, moving on up, yes, to the east side, baby. Okay. Like, deluxe apartment in the sky. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like a divine union. It's looking like some shit being set straight. It's, some, it's looking like a timeline has reset itself. Things are healing. And it's looking like whoever was interfering is seen. Like, even though they think they're in the shadows, they're seen. If you need a private appointment, click the link in my bio. I'll be more than happy to help y'all out today. I'm available from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you need a late VIP appointment, you know you got an emergency, let me know. I'm going to make that an option, too. So if y'all need me in the late night, you know, you can hit me up. There will be a little luxury tax, but no worries. I'm sure that hour we can definitely get whatever you need solved for you. So, yes, y'all, I love you guys. Thank you for indulging me, and we will most definitely chat soon. Bye.